breakdown of a chicken walk cycle. Chickens have a funny way of walking. In this video, we will explore what makes it so characteristic. There is no right or wrong way to make a walk cycle, so long as it makes sense in the context of the character. That said, there are some features that make a walk cycle more chicken-like, so let's take a look at some of them. The legs When humans walk, the movement is motivated by the hip, the knee and the ankle, and the foot moves in a smooth, arching motion with every step. But chicken anatomy is very different. They stand on their toes, and the bones in the foot are fused into one long tarsometatarsus connecting to the ankle. Therefore, each step consists of two separate movements. First, they fold their legs almost completely, and then they extend them to the next point. The body. When humans walk, their bodies typically move up and down with each step. This is because the human torso stands right on top of the hip. But in the chicken, the position of the pelvis is very different, with the legs not so much under, but on the sides of the body, which means their body is much steadier when they walk, with barely any vertical movement. However, keeping the body completely still while walking can look odd in animation, so it works best if you give it a little rotation or a little back and forth with every step. It may not be completely accurate, but it will make the animation more interesting. The head One of the most recognizable elements of a chicken walking is their bobbing head. Chickens are really good at moving their heads and bodies independently, and that's what they do when walking. While the body moves forward at a steady speed, the head moves from one position to the next with a rapid movement, and then it waits perfectly still for the body to catch up. The sequence works like this. As soon as the foot makes contact with the ground, the head launches forward to the position it needs to be when the next foot takes a step. This movement shouldn't take more than one or two frames, it's really fast. Then the head locks in space, perfectly stabilized while the body catches up to it, and as soon as the next foot touches the ground, the head shoots off again. Notice that the bobbing is only an illusion. The head doesn't actually move back, only forward. And that's it. We may never know why the chicken crossed the road, but now we definitely know how it did it.